uh, outside. You see the cloud cover, Kirsten and John were talking about that, all associated with this area of low pressure to the south and one to the west of us. We've got a double barrel low north and west and then one to the south, which is now a cutoff low. What I'm going to tell you is it doesn't look as menacing as it did two days ago. It doesn't look as menacing as it did yesterday. Now, that may change. I doubt it, but it may. And if it does, uh, and you're not watching later this afternoon with she, go to Byron Pix 11 on Instagram right now. Byron Pix 11 on Instagram. If I think you're going to get walloped later this afternoon, I will update you. But right now, I do not believe that is the case. Because as you look at the radar, we've got light rain over Brookhaven, a little rain to the west of us. Uh, but the real rain is to the south of us. So what I do is I drive south in the Greyhound bus, and then I go, where is the low? There's the low. The question is, uh, you know, what is it going to do? Always about the path. So there are three paths. If you get this yellow line, that takes us out to sea. If you get the blue line, that brings us normally when we have cold air, either snow along the coast and close in Jersey, as well as snow north and west. The red line is a hugger, and we get nothing but rain. I think uh, what's happening here today with these temperatures uh, is that the system is actually starting to move this way, a little bit further out. And so that would take away a lot of the precipitation. I noticed this yesterday. I said, hey, it looks like it's trying to move a little farther east. And if you look at the rain future cast, it shows you that we've got spotty showers now where they were painting good rain yesterday at this time. Uh, spotty over most of the areas, unless you're over east towards closer to the low, which is going to be over the Hamptons and Brookhaven on Long Island through Connecticut. This is by 3 p.m. and now it's showing you some dry spots. Again, indicating the model is not always correct on this even day of, but indicating that we could have dryness over a lot of the boroughs and close in Jersey. Uh, by 5 p.m., there's rain still a possible, but it doesn't look like it's heavy until about 7 o'clock when you see the red over Manor Haven and over Rye or Queens. That's a good heavy downpour, but it looks like it's not lasting that long. It could be out of here by midnight. So the models have come down drastically where they were saying up to two inches two days ago. Now they're painting basically nothing north and west and less than a half inch over the city, which is debatable. Again, if that changes as I'm watching this all morning, I'll update you on my Instagram page. Go to Byron Picks 11 right now on Instagram and I'll update you. Winds today, not as gusty as we were expecting because that low is pushing away. So that shouldn't take the temperatures down too much. Right now in the upper 40s to the low 50s, wherever you see me or hear me, and the winds are out of the north northeast, uh, that should take the temperature up somewhere between 54 to 58 degrees today. 54 to 8, 58 degrees. The key, keep the umbrella with you. We're going to see rain. The question is how much? Uh, 58 today, 53 tomorrow. And I've, I've upped the temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. We might even eke out a 68 on Sunday, uh, Marissa. 